Is this the future of Windows AI deeply integrated to the operating system? Check this out. Hey Copilot, can you help me download Minecraft? Sure thing. First, head to the official Minecraft website or what your about no 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 what about Microsoft Store? Let me toggle something for you. Ah, got it. You can find Minecraft Bedrock Edition on the Microsoft Store. Just open the store, search for Minecraft, and select the version you want. Hit buy and it'll download straight to your device. All Ready right, to craft some all right. Work? You can see the screen, right? Yep, I can see it. You're in the Microsoft Store app. To download Minecraft, just select Minecraft Java and Bedrock Edition for PC, click on it, and then hit the buy button to start the download. Oh, Enjoy I crafting. already own it. Yeah, I already own it. Great, since you already own it, just hit the play button on the Minecraft page in the Microsoft Store to start the game. Ready mm -hmm. to dive into your blocky adventures? Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll talk later, all right? Sure thing, we'll catch up later. Take care. All right, if you don't know what's happening here, this is nothing new, actually. We have seen this similar thing on mobile devices. Uh, it's still here, but more powerful thanks to AI, you know, the Siri, Google Assistant. Now, we also had a similar thing on Windows 2. Uh, so there was something called Cortana. So now it's more powerful and it is called Copilot. If you haven't seen this post from Microsoft, then you should go and read this. The title is Making Every Windows 11 PC an AI PC. There is a lot to talk about this actually. Some people might like it, some people might not. But the thing is, it looks like we cannot escape the AI. It's, it's everywhere now. It doesn't matter which website, which software, which service you use. AI is now everywhere. Yeah, Microsoft is now deeply integrating the Microsoft Copilot, the AI, into the operating system. You can now interact with the AI with the voice. Just you can say the wake up command, just like Hey Copilot. Second, yeah, it can see your screen and assist you with anything that it sees on the screen. It could be anything like maybe you're learning a new software, it can help you guide with the software tools how to use it and all that this is uh, the main thing a little bit scary in my opinion it can for now it says it should be able to take action on your behalf basically you can tell ai to do things on your behalf like for example you can ask it to maybe manage your files or maybe turn on or off certain things on the operating system. Okay, let me show you guys something here. If I go into the Copilot settings here, permissions. Yes, you can allow Copilot to see all your files and do file search for you. Basically, AI can index your files. Yeah, some people might not like that because there is always a privacy concern. You know, the Copilot is a online service, so yeah, and also you can allow Copilot to read all the files, like documents and all that, and you can ask the questions about it. And you can turn on this to start a conversation without even touching your keyboard, which is, I think, pretty cool, actually. <laughs> and the Copilot vision highlights. Get guided help with what's on your screen. Copilot will be able to point to specific things using a cursor while vision is on hmm it can also control your cursor i don't know about that it looks like we cannot escape ai it's not just microsoft okay ai is now everywhere google youtube you name it okay it looks like we can't escape it for now this is just an copilot application which you can just download separately okay for now but I think Microsoft has different plan for future versions of Windows. They have already begun integrating AI into the system deeply. Like, uh, let me find something here. You can see in this, in the search box of Windows, it says ask Copilot anything. And there is the mic and glasses icon, which is similar to this. Hey Copilot. Yeah similar to this now i don't know if it has already taken over the windows search already because i don't actually use windows search i use 
something called command palette it's also from the microsoft and it's actually better okay i also have windows indexing disabled and sometimes it automatically enables but i'd try to not use windows search i use this instead with everything app now let's turn on the windows search actually okay um search box oh it hasn't taken over the windows search yet <laughs> at least for now i think uh this is still in preview the beta dev and canary channel of the windows so yeah this they are still working on it you know i actually like some of these features i'm gonna say the copilot vision and uh, the copilot voice conversation is pretty good feature okay because with the vision it can help you with almost anything if you don't understand anything on your screen maybe you're learning a software it can help you with that if you want to learn more about it what it can do you should go and read this blog post from microsoft now the main point of this video is the future of windows is gonna be different i think the windows is gonna have ai deeply integrated to it and it's gonna take over the windows search it already has in the beta builds i think and it might take over almost everything you'll be able to control entire operating system using copilot i think with this post microsoft is clearly giving us a hint ai is going to be the biggest part of the operating system okay the core mechanism of operating system is going to be ai so if the next version of windows is going to be full ai operating system like you may have heard the news or you may have seen there are browsers uh, called the ai browsers they are fully operated by ai you can do every single thing you don't even have to touch anything and ai can do everything for you there are two main ai browsers right now comet and uh, chat gpt's atlas so basically what i'm thinking is that the future version of windows might become something like that it's gonna be fully ai powered and ai will basically do everything for you on the system yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments what do you think about this yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye-bye.